So this video is to sort of bridge the gap between the, the videos you're going to see on our website that Steven does when he's in the Fab Lab and how we're actually going to be doing this in our browser. So to simplify things, we're doing it in a browser. This is the HTML file that I opened. I came up here, I opened the file, and this is what it looks like. Now, sometimes when he's there um, and you'll see him just like, you'll kind of see something like this, the observer. And this is like by line by line when he asks you to code. So I could say, ask patches um, and then I'm going to use a square bracket and so that's right next to the letter P square bracket um, let's see ask my patches I'm gonna set my P color and that's for patch color and I'm gonna set it to purple okay now in code, this part's pretty critical. If I open a square bracket, I have to close the square bracket. That's the next one over. And when I hit enter, um, oh, it didn't like pur it didn't like purple. Let's try that one more time. Ask patches. No, it had an error, and it's like, hey, nothing named purple has been defined. So let's set p color to blue. That should work. There we go. Now, if I want to change the color, ask patches. I do my open bracket, set P color to yellow. Okay, I close my bracket, I hit enter, and it changes it. Now, I actually added a color chart so you could add all color sorts of colors to the assignment. So you'll find that there. Now, the other thing that you'll see is he'll suddenly say, now I'm going to code a function. And when he does that, He's coding inside here. So I'm going to, let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. Okay, so this is a function. This to set up, uh, and it's of in, in, in NetLogo, functions start with to and end with end. Okay, so this is the to, go, the to go function. So whatever is put in here is what's going to happen when this button go is pressed. Whatever happens between the to and the end, of setup, right, to setup, is what's going to happen when I hit that. So what happens now is a turtle gets thrown on the screen. So we look, and sure enough, this is a shortcut, but this is basically saying create one turtle. Say we want to create four turtles, okay? Uh, and then what I would do is I'd recompile that code. Anytime you're working in here, you kind of need to recompile it so it understands, so it basically gets itself ready. And then you're going to come up here and hit setup. And now you'll see it's actually giving us all sorts of turtles at once. Okay, so if I wanted on the go button, say I wanted to set the background color. Okay, so I could actually say that was, uh, that was ask patches. And uh, it's a very polite language. I agree with him that way. And I'm going to set my P color to blue and I'm going to close it. I'm going to recompile my code because anytime I'm working here in the code part, I got to do that. And now when I come up here to set up, um, it gives me more turtles. But when I come here to go, it executes it and it gives me my blue. So these are the two pieces that we're going to be able to uh, insert in this particular one, right? Because these are the buttons that we made for you to, to play with. So so in here between the now I could do another thing too. I could also say uh, ask patches to set the P color to green. Okay, so I could recompile my code. And now when I hit setup, it's going to do two things. It is going to create my four turtles and it's also going to set it to green. But if I come here and hit go, it's still going to execute my, my stuff here. So that's a little bit about how do I, um, how do I, how do I code in my browser, which is what we're doing. Now, the tricky part is that, it, that it's not like I can't really save this file. So if I want to show off what I did, say you submit it to an assignment for me, you're actually going to have to screenshot this. So you would screenshot this scene. There we go. And you could either screenshot or you could copy and paste your code 
at this stage, you might as well just screenshot it. It's not complex, complex stuff. If you did want to use it again, go ahead, put it in Google Docs and save it as a, as a, as a TXT file. So that's a little bit about how do you bridge that gap between what he's doing on the video, which is in the downloaded version, and what you're doing here on the screen, which is, which is the, the net version, the web version. And with that, I'm going to let you explore. So remember, there's two places to code. You can put it here and just line by line have it change. Or you can come down into the net logo code, which is right here. You can make your changes and hit recompile code and then execute it with those buttons. That's all for now. Have fun with this, and I look forward to hearing what you do with NetLogo.